All right, we are starting in this video at Sullivan and what's the cross street, major crossing? Westgate. Westgate and Westgate Park, pretty much close to it. Now, I'm trying to show you guys everything here so you guys can see. And this is 2024 of March. This neighborhood's potentially going to be an um, interesting neighborhood that's growing, according to real estate agency. Now, I'm not 100% sure this area, just because uh, I work with somebody that's in this area. Um, owning houses over here um, as a property management so yeah but in 10 years let's see what happened uh, put all the pending aside um, truly see what happened just sit back and relax watch the show should have got my tripod have a uh, Coda Main Street or look like a yeah Coda bus stop over here too of course this is popular street route uh, 6 uh-huh route 6 that's if they don't change it a lot of vehicle park on the side there's a church what is those food pantry, uh, food pantry. There's, there's a lot of church down here too. And also Sullivan is pretty big. It's a, quite a big of a stretch. What'd you say Sullivan about? How, how big is Sullivan? Oh, it's long, it's miles. Miles and miles? Isn't there used to be a charter school right on Sullivan? I have no idea. There's uh, like KFC. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of KFC on Sullivan, but... Okay, Texas Halal Foods, which tells me the Somalis are coming, got a lot of Somalis up here. Mm-hmm. Just like at North End, they have such Soraka. Mm-hmm. Or you know, everybody want to pronounce differently. Saraka or Saraka, however you pronounce it. It's an Asian um, and diverse market, grocery market. And this is the Columbus, it, you know, this Sullivan area is still part of the Columbus and 43204 zip code. And it, it definitely has its pro income and it's uh, Solomon is pretty pretty big This is just uh, one part of the area that you know, it used to be um, a tougher neighborhood We'll call it, you know, a little rough very rough on the edge neighborhood um, <clears throat> But you know any neighborhood you go to you're gonna have those kind of area so and I think that's a school right here, isn't it? By the police station. Hard to tell. What are you pointing to? The car back there the guy hit. Oh. Uh. Rome is the 70 East. 70 East? Mm hmm. Mm. The entrance.
There's the Aunt Elizabeth land right here. So this land over here is, I believe, it's a uh, psychiatric area that's a gated community for people who have uh, mental health problems. Uh. Columbus uh, Developmental Center. Oh. Uh. And I think it's almost like uh, what Melody's in. Only it's a good area for um, a community of people. Mm. But they have a big giant lane if that was the case. Mm -hmm. the, on this main drag, you see a lot of store and you also see a lot of houses as well. So, you know, over here we look like, you know, I've seen the hotels here, I've seen housing, I've seen apartment complex. And we're going to go to 71, 70, 70 East. So, but yeah. So. We're going to show you guys over the bridge view. You we're probably. Doing, they're doing construction of changing the interstate around. Yeah. Over here we have the down there. Look like a, you can't see much other than a whole bunch of branches. And we're going so fast. And I'm getting ready to see where they're getting ready to build the interstate over this. Okay. Up here. I tried to zoom the camera out so you guys can have a better time to see the progress that they're making with the bridges and all that stuff. They are working on it. And they, as you can see, here's the sign right there and the gray piece that goes across is where they're building the bridge in front of us mm -hmm. it's not connected yet it's right about there I'm not sure what that ramp gonna become too it's gonna be going part of 71 sound But if you look, they've got no end on that down there, and there's no end over here. And you can't drive on it yet. And if you look up, when you go past it, there's no road on it yet. Now, look up real quick. I did. It's still, huh? You can still see, see who. See, it's ended over there. They're connecting it to all of the uh, trails over there. Yeah. See, there road construction over here. And over here, all the screens here. Yeah. And then over here, yeah, is that? No, that's not a. That's part of downtown over here. Uh huh. This is still considered the west side? No, this is downtown. Downtown. Over here you got a lot of construction building going up. Building over here uh, is just before you get to the police station. Look at the building over right here. There. Man, we're going so fast guys. We're on a uh, roller coaster. That's what happens when you're driving on a highway. High Street. Wait, what would it be? That would have been High Street back there. Uh, High in front. Uh, and over here is a lot more quieter. That's because they just finished this. That's the new nationwide building over here on the side. Uh, nationwide Children's Hospital. Yeah. They're always building something up oh, here. God. Nationwide has come. Nationwide Children's Hospital has gotten so much bigger over the last 10 years. It's ridiculous. Yeah, even there now take over North London. Yeah, we're going to affordable housing. Yeah, London area, it is like North London where the... Uh, if you're from the northern, north side, north side of the Columbus, you have North London 
uh, Shore North, and then interconnect that is South London and London. And there is used to be a they call it what is the shopping center in a Northern Light. Northern Light. Yeah, Northern Light is now a um, portion of the building was a na nationwide children outpatient care. I think it's like yeah. Uh, outpatient care over there and that just you know to me it's like there's a lot of development over there as well it's like everywhere around Columbus they're doing something there you know and then right off uh, Cleveland and Ennis where the used to be Zeller hardware and they recently merged into uh, nationwide bought out that property for a millions of dollars I don't know exactly what's the fake year I think it's 1.2 million don't quote me on that but you can see their building those area is for affordable housing there is really in Columbus is no such thing as affordable housing <laughs> because even in the North London area two bedroom one bathroom cookie cutter house or flipped by a contractor that does not really care for 190 thousand K so 190 K in Columbus does not buy you any property that's like five years ago now it might the market might go down it might go up but you guys you know down in the comment let me know what 10 year looks like you know in Columbus but it is a really interesting how real estate and just the market so high and taxes for property taxes also increase you know very high we are the fastest growing I feel like the fastest growing city and Ohio so you know granted you probably could go outside of Columbus as Circleville um, Dayton or um, any those smaller city that you probably could find a little bit better affordable housing knowing Intel coming into uh, into Ohio that's another big big thing especially southern part of the Ohio uh, I believe Intel is in New Albany or where is that at? I have no idea. I think it's either New Albany or um, somewhere um, closest to you said Fraserburg and uh, Jamestown close to it there. No well, you need to pay attention about technology so that way you can invest oh. in the market. Okay. But so you can see there's a lot of uh, thing going on for Columbus. And it just grown too fast. And we are almost come up with to Old Crew Stadium. Old Crew Stadium. And then over here it comes up with the Lowe's. So that's pretty much enough for a tour of Columbus. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.